Hi there. Welcome back to Simon Says. I'm Simon and today we're going to talk about weather stations. So I've been on the lookout for a weather station for a while now. And when it came to my birthday, my wife offered to buy me one. So I had a couple of options to look at. Um, I'd looked on Home Assistant and seen guys like Dr. Z talking about the Tempest weather station. Now that looks really cool. One of the things I really liked about that is that it's got that haptic rain sensor. So it's basically a little surface which is measuring the drops of rain on the surface, which I think would be a lot more accurate than the little tipping cup seesaw device that operates on most of the weather stations. Because with those, you've got to get a certain amount of rainfall before it'll actually tip the bucket. So I really like that idea. But when I had a look at the price point, it sort of, for me in New Zealand, it was going to be more than $600. And that was a little bit more than what I wanted to spend. I also looked at the other spectrum or the edge of the spectrum, which was sort of buying a really cheap one um, off AliExpress. You can get the little sensor kit for about just over $100. This is talking New Zealand. Um, and yeah, that looked pretty cool. But then I had to set up um, a sensor or a radio frequency capture device that was going to capture that 433 megahertz signal and put that into my home assistant. And I thought, mm, it's a little bit of a mission. Maybe it's not going to work. So I ended up settling on the Holman aspect. So let's head along to the Holman website and have a look at this device. Now, the key thing for me was this was a Wi-Fi based unit. So it would be able to push the information up to the cloud. And then I would be able to use my Home Assistant integration to pull that information back into Home Assistant so that I can use it for measuring, but also for automations. So the unit itself, it's got the little cups around at the top there, spin around and give us the wind speed. We've got the wind vane at the bottom here to give us the wind direction. We've got three sensors in this little device here, which is the temperature, humidity, and barometric pressure. And then over here, we've got the internal measurement display. So this will bring the sensor information in via the radio waves, and then that will transmit back to the Wi-Fi router which I can then pull information from the Weather Underground cloud system. So let's just have a look at that Weather Underground interface. So if we go in here, we've got the profile. So I'm just going to go into the My Devices page. And you'll see it's going to load up here. So here we have My Device coming up. And when I set it up, it created an ID and a key but it also created some more information. So let's just go in and have a look here. We've got all the information about my setup and we've also got an API key. And this is where you'll pull the key from here, copy it to your clipboard and you'll paste this key along with the station ID into your YAML code that you're going to put in your config.yaml file. So let's just have a look at the device itself, what we can read on the display here. So if we go into that, you will see now that it will load all my personal information. Um, so there we go. We've got 11 degrees outside at the moment. Um, the wind is moving from a northeasterly position. We've got no wind speed at the moment. It's showing us the dew point, 8.9, humidity, and our barometric pressure. And if you scroll further down here, you'll see here that we've got some graphs. So these are really cool. This to me is what weather is all about, is having a look at where things are going. So we can see, for example, here we've got temperature and dew point. Um, we've got the wind speed. And we've got our wind direction. And then obviously we had some rainfall overnight. And we're currently decreasing in pressure. So I went along and found this GitHub repository um, and really useful to have all this information available. So just pulled this out here and basically loaded us up into my configuration.yaml file. 
So we've got the platform being with underground, the API key that is um, given out, the um, ID for the weather station, and then these are the conditions that I'm monitoring. So I'm pulling in temperature, wind speed, pressure, humidity, etc. So if we now go to my Home Assistant dashboard and we scroll down here, um, I don't have a fancy looking dashboard yet here, but I'll, you can see on some of the ones that I've been given, I put a little post up on Facebook on the Home Assistant page and some guys have posted some awesome dashboards that they've done for their weather station. So I'm planning to do something like that. But here you can see we've got our dew point, wind speed. So if we have a look there, we had some rain yesterday at about 6 p.m. Um, you can see the pressure. Um, it's quite good to see that change in pressure. And I'd really like to do a couple of automations with pressure. So it'll alert me on my mobile phone if there's a sudden pressure change. But also if the rain starts, it can alert me to close the windows. And in the future, it'd be really awesome to even be able to get some actuators on the windows so that they could automatically close. So this is the internal display unit. Uh, as you can see, we have a little button on the back here, which allows us to adjust the backlighting. Uh, so you can turn it down at night and turn it up during the day. Now, looking at this unit, we've got a nice clear display uh, with showing on the left-hand side our internal temperature and humidity. This little arrow over here is showing that the internal temperature is currently on the increase. Uh, we've got this little smiling face telling us, yes, looking good at the moment, not too humid, not too hot or cold. Uh, down here, we've got a forecasting. Not quite sure how this actually works. Uh, it'd be really interesting to find out where it gets that information from. Uh, we've got the date, Saturday, or the day of the week, Saturday. We've got our moon phase. We've got our current time. Um, the sync button is showing that it's syncing into the internet via Wi-Fi, and that is then connecting back to the Weather Underground database, uh, which I'll show you a little bit later. And we've got our date and our month. And then in the middle here, we've got this wind indicator. So you can see currently we've got a one meter per second gusting. Uh, it also shows the uh, angle or the um, direction of the wind. The arrow is showing you the current direction. And those little lines on the outside are showing you past um, wind, wind directions. We've got our wind chill factor down here. So currently no wind chill. Um, and on the right hand side there, we've got a a measurement of our signal that's the radio signal coming in as you can see it's a full signal we've then got our external temperature and that's currently on the way down and we've got 84 percent relative humidity uh, barometric pressure uh, we've got 1028 there um, and rain currently we're sitting at a total rainfall for the month of 87 millimeters that's all for today Thank you very much for watching and feel free to subscribe if you want to watch more of these videos and let me know in the comments field what videos you'd like me to do in the future. Simon says, bye then.